Australia has a short history of enacting anti-terror laws. In fact, prior to September 11, we had not one national anti-terror law in the books. That itself is not surprising. Australia has only had a few isolated examples of experience with terrorism. One, for example, was a bomb attack in the Chogham meeting of 1978. However, the fact that we haven't enacted anti-terror laws is no excuse for the fact that we do need to pass such laws. And in fact, passing them after an attack like September 11 is arguably the worst possible time to do so. That's because we don't want to pass these laws when we're struck with fear and grief. We do need to pass them at a time we can think about the right laws we need for Australia and whether they get the balance right. Many people have argued even after September 11 that we don't need new anti-terror laws. They have said that our criminal law is strong enough to deal with terrorists. My view is different. I think we were right to enact anti-terror laws after that stage and in fact there's four reasons I put for why that is the case. The first reason we needed to enact new anti-terror laws after September 11 is that the criminal law was simply not up to the job. There were major gaps in the criminal law. For example, it didn't deal at all with things like the financing of terrorism. Yet we know that financing is a key way of restricting terrorist activities. The criminal law also is not sufficient in that it does not deal with the prevention of terrorist attacks enough. It needs to go back further in the chain of causation to deal with terrorism before those attacks can occur. The second reason we needed new laws is we needed to make sure that our agencies such as ASIO, the Australian Federal Police and other bodies could prevent terrorist attacks by gathering intelligence and taking the steps they needed to prevent terrorism occurring. The third reason we needed new laws was because as a good international citizen we are obligated to enact such laws. Resolution 1373 of the United Nations Security Council required Australia to enact new laws to bring about the prosecution of terrorists. We had some laws on our books but they didn't deal adequately with prevention and that's the point that the international community charged Australia to deal with. The fourth reason we needed new anti-terror laws has an important moral dimension. It was important for Australia after the attacks in New York, Washington, Mumbai, Jakarta and other places to ensure that we took a stand as a community against acts of terrorism. We needed to make it clear that we reject those forms of political violence and anti-terror law is an appropriate way of doing that. So my view is we do need anti-terror laws and this was made clear after September 11. The real question is, did we get the laws that Australia required?